Hey everyone, welcome back to Passport 2 in my childhood. Passport 2 my childhood, I think is what I wanted to say. I'm never going to get it right, and eventually I'll stop this gimmick of picking on the name because it's getting kind of old. Um, I don't know why I'm yelling at myself like this. Um, anyway, Evo, yes, still does not exist. Um, and let's get back to it. I hit the wrong button. There we go. All right. So... The next thing I did, uh, this was like fourth grade. This is actually like a bit of a long story. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Um, nope, wrong color. This might actually end up being the whole thing for the episode, I don't know. Um, I think I started with, yes I did, okay. Yeah, this is just, it's, it's, I don't have an eraser. It would be nice if they actually had one, but they don't. So I'm just gonna have to make do. Again, all my drawings, they were angry. And I actually spent a lot of time drawing big muscle arm dudes. And it actually was my initials fighting each other. I don't know why I thought it was a it was it was such a cool idea. I don't know why I enjoyed it so much, but um, I'm not gonna draw the bee going the other way. But I had him doing all sorts of things. They were in big wrestling arenas fighting each other. Uh, I'll put the eyeball on top here. And then the arms again. I got really detailed into it. It was kind of it was kind of weird. I can understand why my fourth grade teacher decided to write a note in my journal saying, "Hey, these are kind of." I think she said disturbing. I don't remember. And she wanted me to. Uh, she wanted me to stop, just because it freaked her out so much. I guess. And at the time, like, oh, she just doesn't get it. These things are cool, but I guess at the time, looking back at it, yeah. Um, I can see how she probably was just like seeing people sh like I think they had guns and stab I don't know it just said general uh, early kid stuff you see macho shit on TV you're like oh, I want to draw this stuff because it's cool um, I think I remember specifically one I had a bunch of them in a giant wrestling ring it was like my piece de la resistance whatever the magnifique piece where I'm just gonna have to do a facsimilation I forget what the actual words called uh, I'll use a little spray paint just to jazz it up a bit there we go yeah yeah, and this was all in pen and pencil, so it was it wasn't the same. Uh, I'll draw a little bit of because they've been fighting a lot. These are supposed to be knuckles, but again, I'm right, I'm left-handed using the wrong hand, so we're just gonna have to make do. There's some on the ground here because they've been in a tussle for a while. Big old tussle. I should add something. I'll do a little. No, I'll do an eyeball. Yeah, I said that one. Maybe I didn't say that. One. Okay. I don't think the fancy ladies are gonna like this. Fourth grade. I guess fourth grade. I can't come up with anything else. Eh, it's not the best in the world. I want to invest in this. That's fine, Giorgio. I don't want you to. So this one, I really would like it if it actually was a landscape. Because these are um, going to be hard to draw. I'm going to see if I can remember how to do this. I, use, I usually did these on graph paper because I, the angles were very important. Um, yeah, you take that. You've got a lot of my paintings, buddy. <laughs> Fourth grade is sold for five hundred and five dollars. 
Lucky me. Um, we'll do... That turned out pretty well. Uh, I wish the shift thing would work here so I could draw the straight lines because it's very important. And then down like that, make a nose. And if the, the, the biggest fancy thing I made sure I had in all of these. I'm actually going to fill it. I'm, get, I'm actually going to try this time. And I'm going to fill it in with this. Concentric Connell trails here. And then we'll do a little bit of here. I drew a lot of planes and helicopters and whatnot. Just because you're a freaking kid, what else are you gonna do? All the big cool explosion military stuff. It, it was it was cool to look at. Um, and then I had of course you had the missiles. Because it's a jet. All jets have missiles. It's, that's just a given. Um, oh, the thing you just remember, this is a horrible story. And I think actually if I was a kid now, I probably would have gotten in a lot of trouble for it. Um, I remember when I was a kid. Uh, don't judge me. You're already going to anyway. I would be get bored a lot. We never had TV. The only thing we actually had was uh, like PBS. We didn't have cable or anything like that, so you just had to make do with whatever was available to entertain yourself. I looked at a lot of encyclopedias. I'm not kidding. I did. Um, and the thing I remember I saw a lot because this this is I had no real idea at the time. I was just painting through it and I remember seeing I guess it was the Nazi st uh, section and they were actually it was colored uh, it was like one of the only few things I think in the colored encyclopedia I don't remember it was uh, merit encyclopedia I think my parents actually got it from smoking a bunch of cigarettes maybe my dad was I think he smoked a lot of merits I don't remember exactly um, I'll do some explosions in the background because it's war it's gonna look cool and that's like shrapnel, although it looks like a giant spider or the Japanese flag. I don't know. Um, and I had no idea what these things were. And I just remember they kept showing pictures of swastika everywhere. I'm like, oh, this is kind of a striking image. I've never seen anything like this before. And of course, at the time, I was just like, I want to look at the pictures. I don't really care about knowing anything else. So I'm like, ah, oh, this thing's. Well, saying it's cool to look at now, of course, it's a bad thing to say. But at the time, I'm like, eh, whatever. I'll look at this. And me being the dumb kid at the time, praise the sun, I thought that, eh, this is fun to look at, I guess. Um, now i got to put speed lines. And we'll do a little, we're going to incorporate again the landscape into this. So I thought, ah, I might start adding this into everything that I drew, and I actually did that. Um, I remember specifically, I believe it was uh, fourth grade one time, I, uh, we had to draw something and we had to do little borders to decorate it, and I thought, I know what I'll do for a cool border. So for the entire outside of the uh, painting, I actually drew nothing but... Uh, swastikas around it because at the time I just thought eh, this is a cool symbol I had no idea what this means and if this actually happened at this time I'm sure my parents would have gotten thousands of phone calls I probably would have made international news I could have been famous um, for saying I'm a little 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 Hitler I guess but thankfully this happened long, long enough ago that my uh, teacher at least at the time just like uh, he doesn't know and I guess that's the lesson to learn if there was one I don't know if there is was there supposed to be a lesson is there ever supposed to be a lesson I don't think there is I think maybe we just overreact a little too much at everything and maybe if we just relaxed a bit and maybe didn't take things as seriously as everyone demands us to, things wouldn't be so bad. All right.
disapproving. Disapproving sun. Eh, a lot of sun motifs. Is weird hairdo guy gonna take this? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna see if he says anything about it. Oh, he likes it tremendous. Ah, oh, Dawn, I love you. You're fantastic, yes. I'm going to make my new painting about you. You're gonna love it. Ah, oh, God, I keep forgetting to do this. Alright. So... Let me see how long it takes for this to actually... We'll do a little bit around here. The Eiffel Tower secret mind control device, according to, of course, conspiracy theorists. This actually. Ooh, I got an idea now. I have an idea. Here we go. This actually is going to work amazing. Will it? I don't know. My back is not happy with me today. Oh, I should probably... Oh, God, fuck you. Maybe I should mention that. Um, since last time we met, being an old man, I guess, has raised its head with me, and... I'm doing, I have old person problems where I freaking hurt my back of doing, of all things, just bending over at the waist to type. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal, but lo and behold, I just bent over and typed. And my back was just like, ooh, we don't like that, and let me know. And then I proceeded to sit down a few minutes later, and oh my god, it was probably the worst pain I think I've ever had in my entire life. It was so bad. Like, I couldn't move, I couldn't stand, couldn't sit, couldn't walk. I just had to say, leaned over, and just go, ow, 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 a lot. Oh god, it hurt so much. It's kind of being a little uncomfortable right now. But, hey, I'm suffering from my art for you guys. I'm doing this all for you. And I thank you all for paying attention. Paying attention, that's the wrong word. For, 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 I can't talk today. It's the heat. It really is. I thank you all for watching. I do this all for you guys. I really do. And I think I'm going to switch mice. Imaginary Evo gave me this mouse, and I really kind of don't like it just because it's super loud. And you saw how it spazzed out last episode when I was drawing something. Oh, this just came to me. I'm going to... see how well I can actually people's legs can do this right <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna say it can alright alright here we go and I can't the hands hands are always the hard part I'm assuming I'm making money I haven't had anything sell less for less than that uh, yeah those are hands don't don't question me just just let me have this please here we go all right uh, we'll give you uh, perfect Actually, how, I guess the shine would have to be down here because we're on the friggin' sun. Put it over here. Might as well 
be. Uh, sashaying on the soul. If that doesn't spell right, I don't care. Unpatriotic. Well, I mean, it kind of looks like from over here, all the stars are shaking violently. I guess he didn't like it. We'll see if this other guy did. I bet he won't. Just because. This will help me sell houses. Yeah, Giorgio will let you take that. So, let's draw one last. Uh, see if I can remember how to do this. This was another thing I did on freaking graph paper. But we're just gonna have to make do, aren't we? Alright. This actually isn't turning out too badly, I think. Eh, we'll just do this. There we go. Yeah, this one's pretty obvious. I'm sure you've already figured it out by now. I have my medium. I think we're gonna stick with it. That's just black and white. There we go. Uh, wrong way, wrong way. Here we go. And then we're going to do a little. There we go. And then below that, we'll drop this, this. What does it have? Every 80s action movie that had a helicopter had a friggin' missile pod in it. That's what this is. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, uh, just have to trust me on this as I... I don't know if these things actually exist or how useful they really are. Just to shoot off like a thousand like little needle missiles. I don't know. It's not my job. Airwolf, I think it was called. Or whatever those USA shows were with like Highlander and friggin'. Uh, now I can't remember if that was actually a real show or if it was made up with. It wasn't Knight Rider with a boat. I think that's the family I think I'm getting confused with. I don't remember. Oh, wait, wait. And then this was the thing that was always on. Yes, this helicopter is wearing lipstick. Uh, this actually looks really bad and I need to fix this right now. Okay, we're going to add some... Uh, there we go. Yes, otherwise that looked really bad. Thankfully I fixed it. fix this now. Nah. Alright, whatever. Um, never drew people just because people were very hard to draw. So we're just gonna do like this is that portrait in the back of the background of your uh, grade school portrait with the friggin laser beams. It kind of looks like it. Uh, we'll do you. I think there was always that one color. I don't remember. It's been a while. We'll go candy chopper. There we go. Magic. So I'm gonna come buy this. Yeah, I'm making a lot of money. Come buy a candy chopper. Proper investment. Uh, nope, Giorgio. I did it wrong. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna let my muse speak to me. I'm gonna take a minute and go for the grand final for this episode. 
What am I going to draw, Muse? No, I can't draw that. This is a family show. All right, I got it. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, you take that. We're going to do this. And this is going to be... Um, actually, we're going to do it the other way. There we go. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Trust me, this is going to be great. Somehow, this is going to be... I don't know how this is going to be great. But this was going to be great in my head. I'm going to make it work. Here we go. What the hell is this supposed to be? My muse is telling me things. It just doesn't explain what it's supposed to be. This isn't anything childhood based. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. My muse has left me with some questionable decisions here. Actually, we'll go from purple, we'll go back to blue. There we go. I guess, question mark? I don't know. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's, it's. Confusing me. Confounding me. Puzzling. It seems like it would be real easy to get into the whole... Well, anything could be modern art just because I don't understand it. And the fact that I guess it doesn't do a very good job defending itself. But then again, does it really need to? If I'm not the audience for it, does it really matter? I mean, I seem, they seem to be doing just fine without me being like, I don't want that pile of candy on the corner. I remember that from a 60 Minutes from a long time ago that I guess they were criticizing what modern art was. And it was uh, a pile of candy that was in a corner, and every time people would eat it, they would just fill it back up. And of course, being someone who's like, oh, that's ridiculous. I didn't understand it. But then again... It wasn't for me. It's that whole thing of, it's whatever you make of it. That person's gonna be on Steam or on YouTube, I guess. And it was really easy. It's really easy for me just to be like, "Well, it's dumb. I don't know what that is. Why can't it be something I understand?" It's 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 just silly. I'm just poo pooing something because it's cool and it's easy to do that. You like you lo you look at something that's like really weird. Um, like performance art and you're just like what the hell is this how is this how is this a thing for anybody but then those who actually enjoy it are like no I get it no this is cool I, it, it totally speaks to me it, it means this and then and they try to explain it to you and you're just like well, well I can't be wrong what I think has to be this way uh, everlasting Paint stopper. Oh, let this be a tip for you guys. We'll see if this one gets paid. Never throw... Never actually try to... Uh, throw gobstoppers in the air and catch it with your mouth. Because when they hit your teeth, it causes severe pain. But, let's we'll see if... No, fuck you. I did that once, and it laid a really loud ping noise. And, oh my god, my teeth hurt for... A while afterwards. Untenable. Elizabeth, I don't know what you want, Elizabeth. This is nice. Someone's gotta come here and buy this. I don't think this lady wants it. If she, I don't know, I don't know, Umbrella. May, Mary Antoinette's. Mary? Marie Antoinette's? What's, is this worth? Uh, wine and bag. I can't. Oh, it's right there. 
All right, I don't know. Why do you, you got some weird paint in your face. I don't get it. All right, this guy always buys my stuff. Buy it. All right, yeah, whatever. I, I ended up, I, I borked this, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, that's another episode in the book, folks. Uh, thank you for all watching. I uh, really appreciate it. If you like it or have any comments, please leave them in the uh, space below. Uh, but until next time, have a good one.